white people. You understand? It's a, it's a problem. You understand? You see, we fall around white people. They actually get involved because they kill him like, oh my gosh, I just saw you fall, are you okay? There's <laughs> Tom, there's Steve, there's Mark, I'm Brian, how can we help? <laughs> they actually give her that. You fall around us, you'll be like, rah! as well. I wanted to see how they did it and how we did it. The difference is strictly with the drinks. You see, white people buy you drinks like they're the ones getting paid to buy you drinks. My man would be at the bar like this. Excuse me, mate, excuse me. Yes. Yo, mate, yeah, can I have a uh, beer? Two, I want to see the straight vodka, please. My chin's lovely. Hey, <laughs> Dan, Dan, yo, mate. Yeah, look, what time you call this? Hey, look, look, look. Yeah, what you have? What you have? Hey, yeah. <laughs> Um, how much is all this together? Oh, nice. Did you take 50s? Cool. Here you go. What's that? Change? How much is your change? 16 pounds? You keep that. Have a good night. See you later. <laughs> Done. With us, it starts at the table. We'll be like, hey, you know, I'm just going to go to the toilet. We'll go back in a second. from your mind to his man, yo, what's man? <laughs> yo, yo, cool, let me get um, two rosés, a white wine and a cold for you, see if I... <laughs> Cool, yeah, um, yeah, how much you was to go? <laughs> Wait, what, so how much is a rosé? Let me just back this up, let me just back this up. 
See, I don't know any woman here today on any personal level, but I feel like if that was me that won the Euro million, 166 million jackpot a few weeks ago, someone in here could love me and mean it. <laughs> You understand know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to say that. I ain't trying to say money is everything, or people ain't got morals, but people have a price. You understand? Know and 166 million pounds is my price. I would marry Rupert Goldberg today, and we've lost. You understand know what I'm saying? No, I don't think money changes people, but it changes your perception on situations. Like, for example, cheating. Right? Let's take Standard Harry. Standard Harry, average money. He has a wage or a salary. These kind of words don't really apply to rich people. You understand know what I'm saying? Now, let's just say he cheats. Here's how his woman's gonna react. After everything I've done for you, Harry! <laughs> you deserve to be a father! I'm taking my kids away! Shh! Don't shut, she's gone. Now let's say Harry's a multi-millionaire type. <laughs> How could you? After everything we've built together? <laughs> this house I chose us to be born, Harry! <laughs> I love this family and I will not let have my problems in my Range Rover with the heated seats. At least I would have a warm bottom with my problems. That's all I'm saying. Madness, man. But you know what's funny though is that growing up, right, I was one of these weird kids that I used to like watching the news. Like that was that was just my shit. I would just six o'clock, bang, Bun Simpson, shh, news. You know what I mean? And it was it. You understand? You knew six o'clock was the Simpsons like. You know what's funny though is that you grow up believing certain things from the news that ain't even the case. Like, I grew up believing that Sinn Féin was a person. <laughs> so I'm not talking about like I'm the only one. People really didn't all know that. You understand? And you know what's funny to me? You know what's funny to me? Growing up, right, I used to see hear about people being killed at gunpoint. And I used to be like, raw. Like, where is this place? Like, why do people keep going? Like, they should just close it. You understand? I was, I was one of these kids that wanted to get involved. Do you know what I mean? Eh? You know what's funny to me now is that people always talk about black on black crime and how terrible it is and whenever something pops off they always find someone at the scene of the crime. Now whenever they go to the scene of the crime they always find the most uneducated, dumbest, slowest, stupidest person that they can to speak for the black community. You know what I mean? They come over there confused us with the questions and they're like, now given the turn of events, how do you feel that the epidemic of black on black crime is contributing to the disaster in the black community? Well, um... <laughs> what, what that fan is the problem? Is, is the problem, um, well, um, you see, the kids, them, them, them want something to, to happen, you know, they want to the road, and, 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 Candy dance. I'm probably the only black guy in here that can't do it. But when the tune comes on, I will 
first try. You understand? I was at my girl's birthday party. First, this man was her first birthday party out there trying to impress her. Like, yeah, man, the man can dance and take. I'm like, I'm gonna get right. Like, cool. Let me do this thing. Let me just try and follow everyone and just concentrate. I was like, boom, boom, dum, 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 dum. Here is where I was lost. Because there's a bit where you go back and come forward, and I thought it was right there. So I just ducked out this dance. You know what? I'm after to duck out on stage right now. I've been Travis J. You've been a wonderful.